हेलो ऑल एंड वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल माय नेम इज चंद्रमणि पांडे एंड थैंक यू वेरी मच फॉर वाचिंग माय अदर वीडियोस आई एम होपिंग दैट माय वीडियोस आर एडिंग सम वैल्यूज इन योर डे टू डे इंट्यून ऑपरेशन वर्क प्लीज कंसीडर सब्सक्राइबिंग माय चैनल बाय सब्सक्राइबिंग यू विल गेट एक्सेस टू न्यू वीडियोज एज सुन एज दे आर अपलोडेड एंड इट्स अ ग्रेट वे टू स्टे अप टू डेट विद माई कंटेंट एंड सपोर्ट मी एट द सेम टाइम टू क्रिएट अ डिप्लॉयमेंट प्रोफाइल वी हैव टू गो टू द device enrollment section under windows enrollment we have a option called deployment profile we have to create a deployment profile we have a two option we can create a deployment profile for windows pc or for hololens for now i'm going to create for windows pc and then we need to give a name so i'm going to give win a win 10 and then ad deployment profile and if you want you can give a description name also now second option is to uh, configure convert all target devices to autopilot so consider a scenario that you have a thousand device in your infrastructure where the device is not registered in autopilot services so then in that case we have uh, two option either we can upload we can extract the hardware hash uh, and then upload the hardware hash in autopilot services the second option is to use this option convert all target devices to autopilot and set it to yes so what will happen when you are creating this deployment profile with uh, setting yes then machine is going to automatically registered in autopilot services and whenever a user is performing the autopilot on on those pcs they will get the deployment profile so for now i'm not going to select this option to yes leave it as a no now moving to the next page in this page we have to configure the out of box experience so with the very first option is to configure the deployment mode so we have two deployment modes user driven and self deploying mode so for now i'm going to select user driven mode then we have to configure the joint to azure active directory as azure active directory joint or hybrid azure active joint joint so for now we are going to uh, select azure active directory joint then the few options are by default disabled or hide by the microsoft like microsoft software license terms privacy setting and hide change account options then user will not see these three pages while performing the autopilot then we have a uh, next option is to configure the user account by default a person who is going to perform the autopilot is a standard user on the device but if you want to make that user as a admin on the device you can configure this setting for now i am going to configure for testing purpose and then you have a option to allow pre provisioned device that is set to no we'll discuss uh, this in upcoming module then we have a option called uh, to select the language by default is set to the operating system default if you want if you know that uh, you have a single uh, language uh, os then you can select as per your preference okay or you can allow user to select but for now i am going to select by default system language and then uh, you can enable the automatic keyboard configuration so it is set to yes and then device naming a template meaning that if you want to change the device name as per the standard i mean then you can configure some standard device naming so we have two option either we can use a random number or we can use a uh, serial number so for now i'm going to use a random number so my device prefix name will be demo and then random number 6 uh, so So whenever user is performing the autopilot machine name will be like demo and then six random numbers okay it's saying that space okay now next is you have to select the include group where you want to deploy this profile you, if you want if you have multiple deployment profile you can select uh, multiple groups uh, groups but for now for testing purpose i am selecting all devices and targeted to all the devices and the next deployment profile is ready and we need to create it 
now deployment profile is created and it is yet not showing yes it takes some time to show yes so we'll just refresh it now it's showing yes i hope this is an informative video for you thank you very much for watching this video